Okay, this is the um, geometry question we're going to try here. It's not too hard, but um, they sometimes have ones that are straightforward like this. It says, calculate, given the reasons, the size of angle RKL. RKL, that's this whole angle right in here. Well, look, this is a diameter. And, oh, we should read this really carefully. I didn't before we start. It says in the diagram, O is the center. The diameter LR, see how it goes through the center? That's really good. Subtends the angle RKL right there. Ooh, that gives you a hint, you see. This angle opens up to the diameter. N is another point on the circumference, and R is on the circumference of the circle. Okay, we're going to use reasons that involve that. You see the angle, RKL, opens up to a semicircle or a diameter. And that's why it's 90 degrees. Angles in a semicircle. Now you should write it in there like that so you can look at it. Well, if that's 58 and that's 90, these are angles summing in a triangle, means that R must be 32 because the angles sum in a triangle. You go 180 minus the 58 and 90 added together. If you got 90, there's only another 90 left. So you can go 90 minus 58 is 32. The last angle N subtends, opens up to the same segment. It opens up to the same segment. Look at that. Of the circle. Okay, so it must be 32 degrees. Well, there we go. We got all those angles figured out with the reasons. So that should be good enough.